Hey, hey, everyone, I want to show you something real quick here. Got this Chromebook. Even Chromebooks get this kind of stuff. Check it out. Open it up. Oh, no. Here we go. Right? This is a big problem, right? Look out. Windows. Someone is trying to steal your banking details, credit card details, and other logins. Please call Windows. And they give a phone number. The hard drive safety delete is starting in five. How about that? Data is at high risk. 7% complete scanning. In red, contact the Windows support. Isn't that funny? How about this one at the bottom? This one's really good. Look. If a Windows technician in is not helping you <laughs> data loss is now possible what really is just funny to me are these names of this looks like it's like executing or scanning or something i mean some of these names are hilarious badblood.exe zap.exe xanax.exe vote.exe here's a bad one right virtualhackingmachine.exe viagra.exe hilarious horseworkshop.exe thief.exe teddy bear worm.exe now <clears throat> here's what gets me though look how they're that's a new one to me see this cursor on this computer is, is completely locked up so there's no, I can't control the cursor, but they're making it look like somebody's moving the cursor around. So that's a nifty little added trick that they're showing here. Isn't that something? Now, to anybody that wouldn't know any better, they would swear that they're, you know, infected or somebody is, is uh, accessing their computer. Smoke downloader. Some of these are just funny sinus.exe how about that shut up.exe i mean something else isn't it well on this chromebooks eh, there's all the sex stuff and it's just you know they're just trying to scare you uh but chromebooks can get this too obviously this is a browser um infection here not infection but it's a compromise uh just a compromised link basically is what this is and that this customer came across and now their Chromebook has been locked into this state let's see what happens when we press escape it, it just stops everything and then kind of kind of goes back to this so here's here's the link here now I got my cursor back at least here I do not down here it's pretty clever how they hide your cursor when you go down into the graphic area there. Olympiad Brin dot club. Da, da, da. So it's just a compromised link, basically. So let's just shut that. And I'll just close that. We're back to the main screen. That's pretty much how you get rid of it. Now, what you don't want to do is end up going back to that link again. So let's have a look here at. Uh, some of the history there's there's that windows alert right there and if i go back to it of course i'm not connected to the internet here yeah see it's back let's see if i can get rid of that link here here history so here's one thing we're going to try to do here is go into settings. Get her name off the screen. And go into history. History. It's loading all the history. And let's just clear all browsing data. You see it there it is again. We don't want that to come back up. Okay, so we've cleared that. Okay. Again, browsing data has been cleared. 
system isn't responding, we'll tell it to close. Let's open up the browser again just to be sure. There we go. Uh, but that's that's about it. That's you know, unfortunately, this stuff is still in the wild, even now in 2020, with with all of the advances of Windows 10 and everything, we're still having these crazy browser hijack. It's all centered around browsers. You can get them in uh, in any browser that you use, Firefox. Uh, you can get them on Macs. You can, you can get them in uh, Safari on Macs. If you're somewhat, you know, tech savvy and all that and know your way around a computer, you know how to get around that whenever it does pop up. Anybody can come across it. It's just a compromise link or an ad on a website or something like that. And, you know, there's ways of, of getting rid of it. Then, you know, sometimes it won't even let you close it out or escape or anything. You have to hit, you know, control alt delete, go to your process manager and shut your browser down or just shut your computer off completely and reboot and it'll be gone. But there are a lot of people who just don't know what to do and they panic and darn sure don't want them calling that number that they show on the screen. And so this is just an easy way uh, to help this lady. I just really wanted to make this video to show you guys how, you know, uh, one that I haven't seen before where it looks like somebody's taking control of the computer. That was a pretty nifty little, uh, little, uh, gadget they threw in there to kind of try to scare you but hopefully she won't have this issue again i've helped her out and she'll be good to go timscomputerfix.net have a great youtube day hey if you enjoy this video why don't you head right down below here hit that like button subscribe to my channel that would be really awesome i have much more computer repair videos coming your way. There's also a bell you can click for to get notifications for my videos. I really appreciate everybody's support. And as usual, everyone, until next time, see you soon.